Newt, newt, everybody. I've tried this once and then it was 17 minutes. Then I tried it again and my parents came home. You know, just imagine like the vine where the dude is crying and shoving spaghetti back into his pocket. Hey, you done, <laughs> but me in sheer panic shoving pins into my pocket <laughs> and scrambling to stack postcards. <laughs> so here we are, round three, third time's the charm. Anyways, I was in Saskatchewan. Hey, what's up, ladies? Oh, you're from around these parts, eh? Yeah, I'm from Saskatchewan. What's up in Canada, eh? You American ladies, you've been out to Saskatchewan, eh? <laughs> <laughs> For the last last week. So most of this haul is just gonna be postcards and pins. I just wanted to make this video to like commemorate it. I know it's like super boring things to like commemorate, but like we never travel east. Well, I thought you said weast. So it was it was different. I've been to Saskatchewan. I've been as far as Quebec. I've done. I've driven it. So I've been to Saskatchewan. I've never explored Saskatchewan and we've explored a lot of BC. So my mom wants us to explore Saskatchewan and we have a friend in Saskatchewan. So that's why we went, but I'm going to get started. Uh, the postcards I have, some are for other people. Anyway, so the first stop we made at a gas station and uh, they have postcards. I'm like, oh my God, fuck postcards. Cause you know, jerk is a postcard whore. I just, I, my package for Adriana is heavily, very, very heavily Canadian based. So I'm like postcards, fuck it. You better like them. So anyways, I got this Canadian Prairies one. And then I got, I got this Royal Canadian Mounted Police. So the RCMP, Mounties, whatever. These are them. These aren't just casual people. What they go through is fucking difficult. The second day, however, my mom and I went to Moose Jaw. So this is the postcard I about, got from Moose Jaw. The people I'm doing packages with are getting more fun ones. This is more of a historical one and I didn't want to give them historical ones because then like what the fuck is happening You know what I mean? They don't know the story behind it But my mom and I went to do the tunnels and so the tunnels were are now located in this building here And essentially the tunnels is like a historical thing uh, I'll just show you the pin I got there while I'm at it So this is the pin I got it says tunnels of moose jaw history underground so essentially one of the tours was like a Chinese tour because the Chinese came out here for work, working literally for pennies a day and they'd save it up and send it back to their families so they could hopefully come out here, live their life, whatever. Most of the time the people who came out here though did not actually end up going back to their families. So they like literally came out here, worked until they died. And they typically worked underground because people didn't want to see them. Cause you know, racism was very prominent and you know, the railway, how that went up here, mm, that was not a good time. Lots of people dead, mainly Chinese, Japanese. No, the people who fucking came out here, Canada ain't clinging. <laughs> but yeah, so there was that one and like the one we did was like a laundry mat kind of thing. And so underground, they'd work in the dark. They'd like never see the light. They didn't want to see the light anyway because white people would just be complete garbage to them. So they mainly traveled through the tunnels underground for people who like did worked on boilers. So it was easier instead of going like upstairs, outside, back inside because winter is minus 40. So it was harder on their body apparently. Huh, sucks to suck. The Chinese were using soap that burned their fucking skin off. Like, oh, poor boohoo, can't handle going up some stairs to the cold, back downstairs to the heat. Mm. Second one was an Al Capone tour, which was super cool. Al Capone is like a gangster. Well, he he was a gangster. Um, And essentially, you know that shit you see on TV where like the gangsters and like the gangs of people who do like drugs, guns, all that shit, booze, and like they control the government and like they have ends with the police and shit. Like that's real. And I think about that when I watch those shows. I'm like, this shit is real. Like this is actually happening right now in different scenarios. But Al Capone was one of those people and essentially he was a mobster he was in New York but then he went to Chicago and then from Chicago he ended up in Moose Jaw this man was making a million dollars a week on alcohol alone like smuggling alcohol from Moose Jaw to Chicago into the states over the border and stuff like that and so essentially when shit was getting hot in Chicago he'd take the train up Canada and hide out in Moose Jaw and so he pretty much ran Moose Jaw he controlled he had like control of like the little government he had control of the police like nothing happened to him while he was here because it's such a small town like it's easy and if you're making a million dollars a week like fuck you're good that was an exhilarating time after that the next day my mom and i went to regina so regina is the capital of saskatchewan and it's pretty much the saskatchewan version of my city so i was very homely i've only heard really shitty things about regina i went there and i had zero problems i was like damn this place is pretty chill and then i realized well my city is also garbage so like we're good i i get it we chill this place is nice 
I got that at the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. And so I got that postcard and I got this pin. So it's, uh, it says Saskatchewan. There's some old grain elevators, a Mountie, Canada flag. And of course, some good old wheat because, you know, Saskatchewan is the breadbasket of Canada, quite literally, because that's where all our fucking wheat comes from. After that, the museum, which was super cool, saw some pronghorns and then really wanted to see some pronghorns on the drive home, did made my life. Even though apparently on one of the drives to and fro Ontario, <laughs> we saw many, but my mom and I don't remember. <laughs> After that, my mom and I went to Depot, which is where all the RCMP people are trained. And so essentially, if you live in buttfuck nowhere, Yukon or Nunavut or some shit like that, you gotta fly your ass down to Regina, Saskatchewan to get trained and see if you make it through and stuff like that. Cause not everybody makes it through. A lot of things are timed. Yeah, so I got this really piss poor printed quality thing just to commemorate the fact I went cause it was the nicest one. Well, the, I liked it the best at least, even though the print quality is garbage. But yeah, that was a good time. Really interesting to see. We only had an hour, so we didn't really get to enjoy it that much but we went to the gift shop and I got this pin and it's uh, just the police service dog and I got the gold one completely on accident but I think I subconsciously knew to pick it because German shepherds are fucking golden and black so I'm like yes this is it this is the one I'm also gonna run through these Saskatchewan postcards I got because I got like a pack of six postcards I believe and then a magnet and it's just a stormy sky and then the wheat then this one, and if there were some green elevators in it, it would have been a sold to me. Then we have this one, and uh, yep, the print quality is garbage on this as well, but it's fine. Then there's this one. These are prairie dogs. They are fucking everywhere in Saskatchewan. It says greetings from Saskatchewan. Then when there's this one, which is like multiple ones put together. Then there's this one with the old grain elevators, some hay. Those are those postcards. And then I got, you know, a tattoo. Cause why not? So our CMP Heritage Center. After that, my mom and I, we went to Mosaic Stadium, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders play there, and they had the largest fucking merch store. It was incredible. Like I started wishing I was a Saskatchewan Rough, Rough Rider fan because Jesus Christ, they've never won a Grey Cup, which is essentially the Canadian, like the CFL version of the Super Bowl. Not as big clearly because you know, football just ain't that large here. But there was so much gear. They've never won everything. You name it, they literally had it. So, you know, my mom and I got pins. I got my city's football team and it says the 2017 season because you know this was on sale hence the 450 but it was super cool so I just had to get something uh, and my mom got her favorite team because at that point during that day she had started getting pins as well so that means we went back to Moose Jaw because she didn't get a Moose Jaw tunnels pin like I did but we went to the we went to the info center and I didn't see any post I mean pins while we were there the first time but they did have pins so there it is it just says Moose Jaw and it's a maple leaf super cute super happy I found that one well my mom found the one that said moose jaw so then i have a moose jaw one and then the tunnels of moose jaw after that the next stop we made was here so it's at the chaplain champlain whatever nature center so we were in there of course but all of that is salt not cocaine guys sorry to burst your bubble but it's salt yeah so it was super cool it looked like snow clearly because it also looks like cocaine it was a it was a wild time of course they had pins so I got myself a pin so it says Western Hemisphere Shorebird Reserve so essentially if you've ever seen Finding Dory in theaters and you saw Piper those are the kind of birds that live there and it's like the largest one in North America or something like that so that was a thing and then there was like a little nature area and you like got the history and got what the purposes are so essentially what's there it's not like table salt salt it's like salt that goes into like laundry detergent so tide gets their stuff from there also gain i believe was on the list and then there's also a dish detergent like dishwasher detergent company but i can't remember which one but they had free samples so saskatchewan mining and mineral sink a sample of sodium sulfate clearly not edible because sulfate usually you don't eat that shit pretty sure at least you know didn't pass chem 20 which is grade 11 chemistry did not pass it so who knows man but anyways i picked up three of these one for me one for a and one for Jerrica quickly realized looks like cocaine cannot send it to either one of them so now I have three little things of sodium sulfate that I don't know what to do with if anybody just needs cocaine for a picture in and this year in school I can hook them up with some fake cocaine <laughs> the next little city we hit that wasn't even really a city but whatever was the city of Swift Current really boring super disappointing but the super little shitty postcard because I just kept getting postcards and I felt the need to continue again they were mainly historical ones but like not even ones like I'd know about so didn't really get any and then they only had Canada 150 pins and then we asked this woman and she gave us these pins for free they're just like little city of swift current pins my camera died so I have to do this quick because my phone's almost out of memory so here's this swift current thing 
Oh my god, this is even worse than my camera. But you know, just it's one from the mayor's office. <laughs> the last place we stopped was Cypress Hills. It's, it's an interprovincial park. Um, we went to the wrong part of the park. We went to like the camping resort area. So it wasn't that nice. And I'm like, this is it. This is where you wanted to show me, mom. You were raving about this place. But no, we went to the wrong part and it was super smoky. So it was hard to see anything anyways. Yeah, so I got this postcard and I got this pin, which looks like an old lady would have it. But you know, I had to keep up with my, uh, my pins. So I got this one and my mom did too. So we have a lot of matching pens. That's it. That's all I have for this video. Um, I'm sorry it was really long. Uh, I just felt the need to like tell the stories and like give you details. Just so things made more sense, if that makes sense. I know I talk a lot in my hauls and like I realize I give a lot of backstory on why I bought things or how I bought things or where I bought things and which is like makes my videos long. But I hope you guys don't mind that because I don't know. I feel like it adds in a way even though it adds to length as well. It's just better than like, oh, I went to this store and then I also went to this store. And then we went to this other store. Like, I just feel like giving an idea as to where it is. Like, if you guys want it as well or want to try and find it, you know kind of where to look or like an equivalent place of where to look based on where I got it. Clearly, that's not the case with these fucking postcards and pins. But like, you know what I mean. I'm sorry. I just, yeah, I know my videos are terribly long as I rant about them being terribly long. But I just, I hope you enjoyed that even though it was postcards and pins. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it as I've said 17 times. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!